The other images that I saw uh, were angry men pouring out of the mosques on Friday. My very first contact with Pakistan was uh, sending a letter to General Zia um, al Haq because he had locked up a number of journalists. And I was a member of the National Union of Journalists, which has an international network and is part of an international federation of journalists. And I wrote to him on behalf of my union branch and said uh, and, and urged him to release the, um, the journalists who were held in, uh, in prison at the time. And this was, I think, in uh, the late 70s, early 80s when I, when I wrote that letter. Pakistan. I know, I know. It's full of Islamic radicals, nuclear weapons, ambitious generals and corrupt politicians. I was amazed when I went to Pakistan uh, because it was not what I expected. Um, all I had seen from Pakistan was um, the fighting of the Mujahideen during the Russian invasion and occupation of Afghanistan and, and Peshawar was a great focal point of the Mujahideen then. And the other images that I saw uh, were angry men pouring out of the mosques on Friday and setting fire to a flag, um, usually a, a, um, an American flag, uh, sometimes um, an Indian flag um, and uh, and that's all that I ever saw so women um, were invisible you know they were just airbrushed from the news and this is the western media and I'm sure it's it's in some ways it's been quite a deliberate uh, tactic but uh, I was uh, amazed at um, how visible and prominent um, Pakistan women are in public life. And, uh, and I think that the Pakistan government is one of the few governments that positively discriminates um, for women during elections in as much as a number of seats are guaranteed and uh, you know this is um, this is very important I can't deal with spicy food but I um, I love the the Pashtun cooking and and, uh, and the best fish I've had in the world comes from an open air restaurant at that point when you're heading up to Peshawar, at the point where the river is brown and green or, or blue and green. And uh, the fish in, in that, uh, it's just a little road restaurant. Uh, whenever I return to Pakistan, if I'm anywhere near there, I go to this restaurant. I love the, the, the fish. And um, I try and get to Pakistan at least once a year. Um, I have lots of friends there. I love the country. The thing that makes me sad is um, the lack of resources, the lack of education. Um, and this is a country, I think, uh, that could really launch um, if it wasn't being held back from within by some politicians and from the outside uh, by the international community. Tourism, 
you know, you've got the seas, the sands, the mountains, the rivers. Uh, oh, the, the country is just waiting to be discovered by the outside world. And the Pakistan people themselves. Um, what I love is this uh, can-do attitude. You know, never have I gone to Pakistan and uh, had a problem where somebody has just said no. Just the such positive can-do attitude. And it's from the smallest child in the street to the oldest uh, person. You know, it, it's just there.